Hello everyone and welcome to the third and probably final installment of my decluttering series. Today we're going to be tackling my vanity. It is a mess right now. Um, I've kind of been putting off cleaning it so I can do it in this video because that's just more content for y'all. But um, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to like and subscribe and go check out my other videos which I will stick in a playlist. Um, I've decluttered a couple different spaces in my house already so let's just get right on into this. Um, it's going to be a messy one. I have my trash can. Um, down here to throw stuff out and that's like about all I have to say. Also sorry for the lighting, it's really weird in here and the ring light is too big to fit in my room right now. Okay, this is probably the worst drawer out of all of them. This is kind of my where things go to die drawer. Um, so let's just start at the top here, this stencil thing I'm gonna keep. I got this sent to me from Kaja and I think it's really handy to have so I need to find a place to put this in this drawer somewhere, so I'm going to set this to the side. This wink stamp from Kaja, again, I like. I'm going to take it out of the packaging, though, just to save some space. But yeah, I haven't used this a lot. But I'm not the best at wing liner, and this really helps, so keeping this. Okay, next to Kaja, this is the Play Bento Trio. I like this. I'm using number two right now. This is number one. Um, it's just different shades of the one I already have, but I do really like this for traveling, um, and I hope to do more of that this year, so I will be keeping this as well. Um, let's just start here. This is Champagne Pop from Becca. Um, I know Smashbox is making this still, and I really like this, but I haven't used it in a while. But for nostalgia's sake, I'm going to keep it. Okay, this Physician's Formula Butter Highlight, I've almost decluttered multiple times. It's kind of used. Um, but it's just a very soft formula. I don't use it tons, so I am going to pass this on to someone else. Uh, ColourPop Soul Body. Um, this was okay. It wasn't my favorite um, formula. I have a few other cream bronzers that are just easier to apply. This one is, again, meant for the body, so it's a little bit bigger. But I think I'm going to pass this one on since I have easier versions to apply. And I don't really use body makeup, so... But this was great on the face, I just don't use it anymore. Okay, this Milani blush, I have not had a chance to try, it's still brand new. Um, but I, since I haven't tried Milani blushes before, I want to give this a go, so I'm going to keep this to try it out. This is a little mini Rare Beauty blush in Bliss I got in the trio. This is my favorite shade by them, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, last two blushes in here. Physicians Formula Butter Blush, I have not used in forever. Um, I don't really love the shade. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too peachy almost. I don't know if you can see it. Again, the lighting is really weird in here. I'm going to try to fix it in editing. But yeah, I really don't love this anymore, so I'm going to pass this on. Okay, this is a Tarte blush in Quirky. Um, again, I have tons of blushes that look just like this, so I'm going to pass this on. Okay, next little container, highlighters. Um, this is a staple Pure Nude Essence, although um, I haven't used this in forever. What's the, this is probably very expired, but I'm just going to toss this because I have another liquid highlighter that I think looks better on my skin that I will show you guys in a little bit. Um, this is the Amory Z Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter. Totally keeping it, let me just swatch for y'all. I mean, it's just so pretty. Like, it's a little yellow-toned, or the, the camera is picking it up yellow-toned. But I love this stuff. Gonna keep it. Okay, next. Kylie Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. This thing is just way too messy. And I never grabbed for it because it's just so messy, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But this was in Santorini. This was really popular in, like, 2017. And this little mini Ofer highlighter in the Color Rodeo Drive. Super popular. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I got it in that, um... Beauty Bay box, so I'm going to save this to use eventually. Okay, next we have this. Um, Jacqueline Cosmetics Cream Blush. It's a little bit deep for me. Um, I'm not really sure about the formula of this either. Um, it is an odd formula, but it's super blendable as you can see. It's just, I don't know if it's my tone. Um, this was an overruled but I'm going to pass this on because I really don't love the Okay, moving on. Um, this is MAC Painterly's Paint Pot. 
that's pretty dry. I have nails on, so it's kind of hard to get at right now. That's still pretty blendable, actually. Oops, sorry. That's still pretty blendable, actually, so I'm going to keep this, although it's probably on its last leg, so I'm going to move it probably to my... Why won't you focus? I'm going to move this to my everyday drawer so I remember to use it. Okay, grabbing these pencils. Um, this is the Brow Definer in Soft Brown. Let me stick those all right there. Um, I don't love the shape of this one. Um, but it is a decent shade for me right now. Go on, focus camera area. So, I don't know. Do I want to keep this? I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this to the side and decide if I want to keep it or not. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. This stamp I love to use just for fun things, so I'm totally keeping that. I have no idea how old these eyeliners are, and because I use them on my waterline, I'm going to get rid of them, but this was the uh, Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Define in Blackest Black. And this is the Wet n Wild, just pencil, um, in like dark brown. Or wooden, you know. Um, I'm going to keep this one, it's still pretty creamy. NYX Jumbo Shadow in uh, um, Iced Mocha. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. I don't know if it's too dark. Okay, NYX Shadow in Iced Mocha. This is really pretty. I need to start using this more. So I'm gonna probably move this up to my everyday makeup. Uh, NARS Duo in Surabaya 2. Um, this is a pretty duo, but I don't reach for it enough, so I'm going to pass this on. These little Wet n Wild trios I haven't used in forever. Um, this one's brand new, and so is this one. Um, this one I've kind of replaced my use for, so I might pass this one on to my mom, actually. And this one is in Nutty. Um, it's pretty old. I don't know how old it is, so I'm just going to pass that. I'm just going to toss that, and I'm going to pass this one on as well. This is just a black matte shadow. This is a Lock Champagne Problems One and Done Shadow Stick. Um, this is really pretty too. Haven't reached for it in forever, but I'm going to keep it because it's gorgeous. I'm going to pass on this little Physician's Formula Butter um, eyeshadow. Just don't use it. Have enough gold and matte white kind of eyeshadows. So I'm going to pass this on. Uh, this is a ColourPop Gemini Single Shadow. Again, nice gold color. I'm going to keep this because I don't think I make it anymore. Okay, these are the ColourPop uh, Cream Shadows in Bronco and Laurel. I liked these. I have not used them. Oops, there goes the lid. I have not used them in forever. But I think I'm going to keep... I think this Laurel was like a dupe for Max Painterly. So I'm going to keep Bronco and pass on um, Laurel. Okay, last two things in here really quick. Um, the Elf bite sized tree um quads I like this one I have I have a I have so many shades similar to this one I'm gonna pass this one on because I don't use this one as much this one is more of a unique trio this one is in rose water so this one I'm passing on and this one I'm keeping okay we're done with that first little row I missed this liquid glow from Anastasia and Perla I love this liquid highlighter um haven't used it in a while though um I've been using the rare beauty one but this one is really pretty. The Rare Beauty one is almost a little too oily sometimes for my skin, so I'm going to keep this one. I think it's really pretty. I mean, look at that. Just like, ugh. And when we are done with the first three little containers here. Okay, moving on. This ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Foundation is my favorite foundation. This is in the shade Medium. This is more my summer shade, so I'm going to keep this for the summer. Uh, pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acids Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't used this in forever. I don't even know if it's still good. Um, this is in the color Fair and 
Um, it's probably good for me right now. I'm not sure if I want to keep this or not. My problem with tinted moisturizers is that they're just too, like, they don't sink into the skin for me. They just kind of sit on the top. So they end up getting everywhere. I think I'm going to hold on to this and mess with it a little bit more. And if I don't end up liking it, I'm going to pass it on. Okay, Too Faced Hangover Primer. I stopped using this in the summer because my skin was getting really oily. But I still love this and it's expensive, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, these are just more of those little stamp eyeliners. So I'm going to keep these for just different occasions. I have a heart and a little flower thingy here. Butter bronzer I'm going to keep. I am going to pass on the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Um, didn't love it. It works, but it's not my favorite. So I'm going to... So I might see this compared to the other one. This one is almost closer to my skin tone. You know, I might like this one. I think I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the ColourPop one. Okay, the last few things in here. I have this uh, Lid Laundry Matte. This is all dried out, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is a backup of the Wet n Wild liner pencil, so I'm going to keep this in my backup drawer. And this is a white eyeliner that I used to draw on the skin, but it's super old, so I'm going to toss it. And then I just have my little sharpener here. I'm going to empty this out, though. Okay, that was everything that was in this drawer. Now let's see what I'm keeping. I'm just going to put everything I'm keeping in here because I'm not sure how I want to organize this yet. Okay, moving on to palettes. Um, I have this little XX Revolution. I love this eyeshadow. Um, it has really pretty like orange tones in it. Um, I've used it a couple times, so I'm going to keep it. This I have not had a chance to use yet, but they're super pretty glitters. So I'm going to try that out. Um, this MAC palette I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I haven't used it that much, and it's not very exciting. Uh, this ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette has a lot of colors I don't normally use in it, so it, I'm going to keep it because it's really pretty. This is my favorite um, highlighter palette by Jaclyn Cosmetics, so I'm keeping this one. Um, this one I get a lot of use out of, so I'm going to keep this one. This is a Tartlet in Bloom. I haven't used this one in forever. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte, although I think I have most of these shades in other palettes, so I might toss this one pass that one on. Divine Neutrals by Jaclyn Cosmetics, or Jaclyn Hill and Morphe is a staple in my collection right now, so I'm going to keep that one. Soft Glam, I've had forever. Um, again, lots of staple colors. It sure does need a clean, but I am going to keep this one because I love it. Um, this little Makeup Geek quad I'm going to pass on. Um, I have not used it in forever. These little e.l.f. bite size shadows I get a lot of use out of as well, so I'm going to keep these. And these ColourPop eyeshadows are great little toppers, so I'm going to keep these. Although, I think I'm going to keep this one and get rid of this one, because I don't use this one as much. Okay, I just have some little extra spoolies in here. And my Conspiracy palette, which I think I might get rid of. I might try to depot this one, um, although I don't know, I don't think I have a palette to put it in right now, but if I can get a magnetic palette, I might go ahead and depot this one just so it takes up less space because it is just a little bit bulky for my collection right now. Okay, that was eyeshadows, so let's just stick these back in here. I'm keeping the conspiracy for now. Got a soft glam, Jaclyn Hill. Another Jaclyn. My Tarte eyeshadows. These can go down here. Um, and my ColourPop 
and these bite size shadows from elf okay so i got rid of three palettes there so that's not bad okay last little section i think i'm going to go through today um is my like everyday makeup drawers um and here i have my tarte concealers which i use almost every day so i'm keeping those obviously i have my elf putty primer it's almost empty but i love this stuff my Fit Me Loose powder in light 10, again, and every day. I haven't used this in forever. This is the MAC Studio Fix in C2. Um, I'm going to, I think I might get rid of this one, or take this for back to MAC eventually. But it's still, this is busted and crusted, but I absolutely love it. This is the Revolu Makeup Revolution uh, Bacon Blot Banana Powder. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible, which I still use occasionally. So I'm going to put these. Oh, and this is the Rare Beauty um, powder. I just tried this powder yesterday. I absolutely love it so far. So let's stick these back in here and put those in there as well. Okay, those work. Um, and I tried the Rare Beauty concealers as well. I might pick some of these up this weekend, but until that, I'm going to try to save these little samples as much as I can. So I'm going to set this aside. So it doesn't get messed up. Okay, so the drawer here, this is my face drawer. Um, love this for beauty stuff. This little duo from e.l.f. I think I'm going to pass on. I just don't use it as much. And the blush isn't really pigmented. Um, and the highlight is more of a blush topper for me. So this was in Lychee. And this was the little bite-sized duos. Benefit Cookie is a great highlighter. Um, again, this is the Kaja Play Bento in number two. This is the one I've been using most days, so I, abso I absolutely love this stuff. It's a staple right now. Hula Light is almost too light for me. The more I try to use it, um, I was fairer before, I guess, but this is just too light for my skin, so this is almost empty anyway, so I'm just going to toss this. And Benefit Hula is a staple for me right now, so this is staying along with Cookie and the Bare Beauty, and I have some extra space in there. Okay, my eye drawer. This, these two um, from the Kaja Beauty um, mascara trios are almost empty, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these um, and put them in my empties for the time being because they are starting to get really old. Um, this is my mascara and my mascara primer, Better Than Sex and uh, L'Oreal Luminous. I absolutely love these. They're still pretty good. Um, these, um, no budge shadow sticks from e.l.f. I use pretty often in my routine, so I'm keeping those on here. Again, I have no idea how old this eyeliner is, so I'm getting rid of it, as well as this one. Although I use it occasionally, I'm probably just gonna pick up a new one because I don't know how old this is. Um, this liner I tried recently. I got it in a little sample. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Pencil Liner, and it is the best black liner for your waterline. Like, nothing ever stays on my waterline. But this really did, so. And I'm so sorry I'm losing light right now. Um, I'll try to make it brighter in post. Focus, focus. This Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Pencil is amazing. It's like two bucks, and it's the best brow pencil I've used so far this year. Okay, continuing on. Uh, Anastasia Brow Freeze is totally a staple right now, as well as the brow powder. And these Kaja shadows, I'm not getting rid of. I absolutely love them. So let's put all this back in here. And that is nice and decluttered now, too, so that is great. And I'm going to go ahead and stick the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in there, too. Okay, that is that. Um, up here, let me move the camera up. Okay, up here on the top of my little um, acrylic container, I have, whoops. Up here on the top, I have the... ColourPop uh, No Filter Stick. I haven't used this in forever, so I'm just going to toss it. Um, and then I have the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick and the Rare Beauty Bronzer that just came out. Um, I love this and my foundation up here, so none of that's going away. I need to clean this really bad, um, but I will do that in a second. Okay, and as of right now, I think I'm going to end it here, and we're going to come back when I have more organization for what I'm keeping. 
um, because right now I don't think I can continue until I have more of a set organization pattern for the rest of my stuff. So I will see you guys in a second, but for me it'll be a few days.